I know our friend, our producer here on the Pulse on campus, Kyle McNaught, is going to be very happy today because, well, we are going to go ahead and start off the show talking about these guys. Yes, Florida State, the Seminoles, they are considered to be one of the hotter teams to watch this year. And here to talk a little bit more about it is, well, someone that was basically in charge of Kyle McNaught not too long ago. Kyle was basically his minion, if you will. We've got on the phone the associate editor from the Tallahassee Democrat. We've got Jim Lamar on the line right now. Talk a little bit more about that, though. I mean, as far as some of the players go, this is the thing I find interesting is you talk, you go down the roster, you see the guys on this team, and you see, okay, well, Christian Ponder, their quarterback, he's now with the Vikings. People all across the country are wondering, all right, who's going to lead the, this team? Meanwhile, people down in Tallahassee, everybody knows all well and good about E.J. Manuel, especially you know when he came out of high school, he was considered to be one of the top recruits in the country, especially that dual threat. Talk about what he brings to the table. Well, and the other thing is he's gotten, he's actually started like five or six games in his career because Ponder had some injury mm-hmm. issues the last two years. So as a redshirt freshman, Manuel – uh, if I remember correctly, won three games as a starter. In his first start, he was brilliant. They, they beat you know, a pretty weak Wake Forest team, but he looked pretty dang good. And then last year, uh, they beat Clemson. He started that game. Uh, and it was, you know, they were by no means the model of efficiency on offense, but they got the win. And then in the bowl game against South Carolina, uh, Ponder got hurt early in the game, and, and Manuel came in and and basically had a game-winning drive in the fourth quarter. They had the lead, but it put the game away for him. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the fans here have seen enough of him to really, really feel good about what he does. So, me, you talk about him being the basically the, the fill-in guy, the replacement, if you will. So now that he's going to be in that full-time role, is he a guy that can handle it? I mean, you mentioned the fact that he's a guy that can, you know, scramble out of the pocket. He does take some licks every now and again. Is he the guy that his body can withstand it? Because we saw with Ponder last year, it just couldn't really hold up throughout the test of time. Well, he's, he's a little bit bigger than Ponder, uh, which is good and bad. It's good in that he's bigger, but it's bad in that it's, he's a bigger target when people, uh, you know, go to tackle him. Mm-hmm. Uh, can he hold up? Uh, Jimbo Fisher, he likes to run those quarterbacks, man. And, um, you know, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> just takes one shot, you know. But tell me, how excited in the atmosphere the place is going to be like come September 17th, taking on Oklahoma, taking on the it's Sooners. Be, What's that place going to be, be like? It's going to be as big, big time an atmosphere uh, as this stadium seen. Probably, uh, I would go back to 1989 when FSU played Miami at night. Uh, Miami had won the previous three straight in that series, uh, knocked FSU out of the out of what they believe were two national titles in 87 and 88. Uh, in 89, they, they, Miami came in here with uh, uh, Dennis Erickson's first year, and they were loaded, and Florida State beat them, and beat them pretty good, man. It was like 24-10. That, that stadium was rocking. 